Alright guys, today I have it set up so I'm going to do some watercoloring. This is my custom set of watercolors that I made using my Schmick um, tray. So I've got a watercolor block. Okay, so one is a pen and ink drawing, pencil drawing, and a watercolor, both of those. I'm probably going to start with the pencil one first. This watercolor block, um, it's okay. I mean, like, it's just a cold press watercolor block from Dick Blick. I'm using that. And then this has been interesting to see. So I made this custom tray and you can kind of see like I've wet it already with this little spray bottle of water. So the M. Graham paints, watercolor paints, they definitely hold up better for moisture. I mean, I let this dry, but you can see like there are some of my other brand choices and they are really dried up. So that's kind of different. Like this is Sakura. Um, this right here is Holbein. Holbein definitely uh, becomes a lot drier. And then M. Graham, it looks like once I sprayed it, it really does kind of look like it just came out of the tube. So I'm going to try that out and test out, you know, how, how it works. Okay. So I have some watercolor brushes here. I'm not overly picky about my brushes. These are just ones that I got from actual like uh, different watercolor trays. And then I have some uh, Winsor & Newton brushes as well that I'm gonna use to do some detail work. So I'm gonna use this one right here to kind of test out like um, how the actual paint spreads on the paper. I have a paper towel for blotting, and then I have a cup of water right here on the side, outside of the camera view. Okay, so I'm going to move this over so it's a little bit more centered, and I know I definitely want to use some. Get this wet. What I'm doing is I'm just doing some color swatching. I did not get a chance to test out and see how well um, these would swatch. So I'm just kind of like testing it out now. Oh yeah, that's my paint's gray right here. It's nice. That's an M. Graham one. Oh yeah, there is a different, I mean, this is interesting. Okay, so the reason why I bought the M. Grahams is because I listened to a, a podcast. Um, so the podcast um, with Lee White, and he specializes in watercolor for his children's book illustrations. And it really does. I mean, so I'm going to try some of my other brands, like the Holbein. See how that yeah, there definitely is a difference. I think it depends on your patience. Um, so this is the Holbein. This light blue right here is the Holbein. And this was the M. Graham. And it almost seems like it's the. it has to do with the way Holbein dried up really a lot. So it's almost like it doesn't mix or spread as evenly, I guess. That's the thing. It, you need to... And then you end up over picking up pigment because it's too dried out. Let me try my Sakura. This is the Sakura one. Yeah, that's interesting. That's why. Yeah, I think that's why there's that preference. You know, how much do you really want to have to wet your pigments in order to get them kind of revitalized again so that you can paint with them? Yeah, the whole bind, I'm really surprised. It's it's very this is another whole bind. That one's a little bit better. That one's more um opaque. Interesting. Okay. So how the pigment spreads. And how even it is. So the M gram is pretty nice and even. This one right here, let's see. Let me get my this is Daniel Smith's. Hmm. Yeah, 
yeah so it's kind of just interesting how it's a little bit smoother yeah the mgram ones uh just a little bit smoother they seem to spread more evenly okay so these are some of the colors i want to use oh yeah like it really re -wet wets very quickly so it, it's like it goes back directly to being like it came out of the tube so i can see what he means about the difference in that so they were more expensive i'm gonna be honest it was like i think if you're just starting out in watercolors you might go hmm i might just see if i like watercolors if i even like using watercolors then um go ahead and uh you know, try a student, maybe a little lesser grade expensive set, and then um, go for maybe the higher up. Because I would say it's, in the M-Grams, I think it was almost $6 for a tube of the watercolor paints. I don't have one of the tubes out here, but um, it's for a larger size tube, but it was about $6. Holbein's kind of around that price range, too. Okay, so now I know I kind of want to use, how I want to use these colors, and so I'm going to start painting this little mouse in with some grays, and I want to go in really light. So with watercolor, I want to start out really, really light. See, look at how dark that pigment is. So I'm going to go back in, and see, I just add water to that, and I'm just going to... I could go in and blot that to lighten it because I just want a really light washes. I'm going to say the light's coming from this angle. I kind of like that idea. So if the light's coming from this angle, you're going to see more shadow on that side. So I came in really dark. I just drew this in with the pencil. I've been drawing mice for the last couple days now. So I was trying some different, this time I did a little bit more of what I think of like, uh, what you think of uh, cartoony mice ears. 